probably one of the happiest three years I've had in my career here at uh, Everton Football Club. And um, it was a great, great honour to be playing for this club. And uh, I'm coming back to particularly Harry and his team, who once again, this foundation is, to me, very, very unique. And, um, you know, it's a pity that a lot of other football clubs don't get involved with it. But, you know, that's their choice. And I think that what the foundation do, Harry and all his team, uh, is quite amazing to think that they help everyone that either plays for the club in now or in the future. And um, But whether it will happen in future, I'm not quite sure. You know, you know, particularly with all the foreign players now. Um, let's hope it just keeps going, Harry. And, but I think... There's massive changes in the game today, as we're all aware of. But um, my time with Bob and obviously Jim, Martin, Duncan, I must say we had a very, very good side. We finished, I think, third and fourth, I think, two consecutive seasons. We had Gordon Lee as the manager, who had a lot of time for Gordon, and Steve Burnshaw, the coach. Um, yeah, I had a really, really happy three years here. Unfortunately, I decided... Uh, to leave, I was under a bit of a contract dispute and obviously it didn't materialise, but I think looking back, I think I would like to have stayed longer, but that's football and that's the modern game, that, that was the game it is today. Well, go back, Dave, to when you actually signed for Everton, go through what happened, talk us through that. Well, I had nearly six years at QPR and probably you're aware that we had one of the best football side that I've ever played in the QPR. We were very, very successful. Sadly, we didn't win anything, and obviously you judge, but as a team of individuals and a team of players, we had some fantastic players. Stan Bowles, Francis, uh, Frank McClintock, Dave, well, I mean, Johnny Hollands, it just like rolled off, and we were a very, very good side. Sadly, we got picked by the opposition, Liverpool, in 19, I think it was 76. Uh, they beat us by a point. And um, it was bizarre, really, because I just literally signed a new contract at QPR after being there for about nearly six years. And um, our manager at the time was Dave Sexton. He moved to Manchester United. And uh, I literally signed the contract. And I got a phone call just after signing the contract, really, about two weeks later. And Dave, uh, the football club rang me, and a guy called Frank Sibley took over as first team man. He rang me, and not thinking I was ever being set to go for a football move. But the funny thing was that you have vibes as a player that the, the actual team was splitting up. There was a lot of little bit of discontentment, particularly when Dave Sexton left, because he was so very well respected as a person, as a and as a coach and as a manager. Um, he left. And uh, I got this phone call to say that Everton had agreed a fee with QPR. Would you like to go and talk? So I thought, well, could be a good time to move. So I came up here and I was very, very impressed. The one thing I will say about Everton Football Club, and even now I'm going back now into the 70s, and I've always said, even in the modern game today, that when a player gets transferred, the players are okay. I mean, Joe must have experienced, I mean, obviously, manage more than any of us here at the top level, and I'm sure Joe would agree. What people tend to forget is that when a player signs, he goes to training every day, meets his teammates. But what people tend to forget are the partners and the wives and the children. And I've always said that if you, as a manager, and if I would ever have been a manager, I'd get a team of people to say, look, make sure the wives know the areas where they want to live, the children of the schooling, and I think that is in, uh, such an important factor in football because, but, and that's where that Everton football, and I'm sure Dobbo, Jim, and if, you know, if we ever saw a house, that football club was backed at the time by Little Woods, they sent a surveyor out to the club, and I think how professional that was going back in other football clubs I went to, they wouldn't even know, they couldn't organise nothing like that. So. It's always, to me, you had a wonderful secretary in Jim Greenwood. Everything was just so, so well organised. And here we are today, all of us come back. And that's what, as Jim said, it makes it a, a special place for us all to come back to and something that we'll 
or shall get. And there's one guy here, which he'll speak later, Duncan. I'll never forget Duncan because he was very, very good to me. When I came up from London, you come back to an area and he showed me on all the areas where to live. And it just helps place to settle. And that's a very, very important factor as, as a football club. So Everton was up there with the best like that. And they still are, I'm sure they are. They're very, very well organised.